Hello my dear students I hope you all are fine Today I am going to give you the explanation and the question answers of poem paper boat I hope you all have completed your work till lesson number 9 So let's start the poem So this is the poem paper boat which is written by Rabindranath Tagore who was a famous writer singer and painter he composed the national anthem of two countries india and bangladesh he was the first indian to be awarded the nobel prize so this interesting poem paper boat we are going to study today and in this poem what we are going to study that how a boy of 8 to 10 years old sends paper boats from his village to he is not aware where he is sending but he is sending so many messages and how it goes no we are going to study so first see the lines those blue lines can a flumsy paper boat carry the weight of flowers and travel safely into a far away land i think all the kids they have done this one whether in rain or whether at home you know all know that how to make a paper boat and how to float that paper boat how to make the paper boat flo float on the water so this is how or this is what the boy does in this poem can it race with mighty clouds means can it go fast you know uh, uh, with those or from those clouds which are there and remain afloat and most importantly can it carry the weight of dreams and hopes let us read the poem and find out so here day by day i float my paper boats one by one down the running stream here the boy you can see in the picture also who is you know leaving the paper boats into the running stream running stream means water that flow or that is flowing in a stream continuously okay and in big black letters i write my name on them means the boy is writing his name on those paper boards you know with big black letters okay or in a big means the size is very big so that anyone can understand and the name of the village where he live okay and i hope that someone in some strange land will find them means obviously these boats will go somewhere some you know to some strange lands and somebody will definitely you know take or somebody will definitely receive these boats and know who i am and they will come to know that who you know who is sending such boats next i load my little boats with surely flowers from our garden means fresh flowers from the garden he puts on you know Uh, or he puts in his boat and and hope that these blooms of the down means blooms of the down means flowers that open early in the morning means very fresh flowers will be carried safely to land in the night so it means he thinks that wherever the boats are reaching so the boats will reach at night so the flowers will be blooming till night and i launch my paper boat launch means means he is setting his boats to sail okay uh, paper boats and look up into the sky and see the little clouds setting their white bulging sails means sail puffs with the wind means the uh, shades of the clouds are changing and they are also ready to race this is what the boy you know meant here and i know what playmate of mine in the sky sends them down the air to race with my boats means clouds are the playmate of of the boy and they are sending whom here it is written in the sky send them down the air race with my boats so that they will have race between the boat and the air okay including the clouds and who is you know going to move or run fast this is how he imagines now next one see the next stanza here it is written upside when night comes i bury my face in my arm and dream 
that in my arms and dreams when night comes yeah. what what he does actually he what he does he buries his face in his arms and dream what he dreams actually that his paper boats float on and on under the midnight stars means if the still still the boats are floating or you know how it looks when it floats or the boats are you know the boats are floating under the midnight star so it how beautiful it will look you can see in the picture in this picture next the fairies of sleep are sailing in them now he is imagining that fairies are there inside the boat and they are sleeping and they are sailing and the leading in there the leading the leading is their basket full of dreams means the things whatever they are carrying i'm talking about fairies so those baskets full of dreams obviously fairies they bring dreams or they you know uh, give certain things whatever we wish it is a kind of imagination so the boy also imagines here all these things that night time how the boats float and how fairies are sailing into those you know uh, boats or inside the boats and how they are carrying their things like basket of full of dreams inside the boat so this is how poet's imagination is uh, described by rabindranath tagore okay now come to the uh, question answer part students you all have to complete your uh, word meanings also including the poem write down the poem in your notebook and write down word meanings and then start writing the work which is there in your book one on page number 129 so you have to start from making connections there is very little space so you all have to write this one in your fair notebook okay complete the following sentences so the first one is a person speaking in a poem is called the persona okay i think the persona is about about 8 or 10 years old because he likes to play with paper boats has a great imagination and can write his name and village name next one is the persona floats paper boats filled with shuli flowers in the running stream we have already studied in the poem next the persona imagines that the clouds are boats with bulging sail sent by an unknown playmate in the sky to race with the paper boats okay means he is not aware who is the playmate but yes somebody is there to race with the paper boats okay next read the lines and answer the uh, questions that follow so the lines are in black in big black letters i write my name on them and the name of the village where i live so what does them refer to them refers to the paper boats where he is writing his name on the paper boats next why does the persona write his name and the name of the of his village so he writes those names because he hopes that one day someone in some strange land will find them and know who he is okay next one is what does this tell you about the persona so this tell us that the persona is friendly and curious to know about the world next one is third question does the persona float his boats often or does he rarely do this which word in this poem or in the poem give us which word sorry in the poem give us the answer to this question yes so the yes the persona floats his paper boats often not rarely the words the day by day okay tell us that the persona floats his paper boats often next last question at night what dreams does the persona have about his boat so at night the persona dreams about his paper boats floating on and on under the midnight stars in his dream he also sees the fairies of sleep sailing in them and they carry baskets full of dream fairies of sleep means fairies you know definitely it is uh, uh, we can clearly say that they come at night okay or during night time and that is why the pers the persona dreams about that okay so students uh, till here we have completed our poem okay please complete your work in the next video i'll be giving you uh, explanation as well as question answers of lesson number 10 keep studying and take care